Well, howdy, folks. How's everybody doing out there? This is uh, going to be a YouTube series here on this Maytag here. I can't really find no information on the internet here. But uh, anyway, I just reinstalled this uh, hit and miss motor here. And uh, it's not firing for some reason, but uh, we're going to look into that a little later. But it does turn freely, so that part's good. But uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take this thing apart here so we can clean it up and uh, get it painted and uh, get it going here. So the first thing we're going to do is take this lid off right here. It takes a half inch bolt. It has two bolts and they're up underneath here the way they bolt. They bolt up and uh, the ones right here are 7 16 on each side, the bolt and the nut. But we're going to go ahead and leave those intact so they don't spin. To open this lid up here, you want to be gentle with these. I believe these are cast aluminum. I'm not sure. I know this is an aluminum tub here and lid. I'm not for sure, for sure. But uh, we go ahead. You got two bolts up under here that go up. You got one right there that holds this hinge on. And then one over here as well. If I can find it. There it is right there. So we'll go ahead and loosen them up. And... Uh, Take our lid off. And we'll get this part out of the way. There we go. I think these are brass bolts, I want to say. Not sure. That's what they look like. Let me grab this other one here. that out all right so i got our lid off here i'm gonna flip these up here and as you can see they're threaded and uh, this is definitely aluminum so we're gonna take our bolts here and reinstall these let's put them in a couple threads that way we don't lose our bolt in our washer i think they're brass it's good enough for that side we'll reinstall our other one here so they don't get lost. Right. We'll take set our lid in a good spot. And wow, you can really see that's what this once looked like. So we'll clean this up and uh wow it's crazy but anyway it's what it's supposed to look like all the way around here but it's oxidated pretty well but anyway the next step we'll take our agitator out here this is very simple one of the easiest things to take off you just lift up and it comes right on out part number for this one is k1128 for this agitator so we'll set our agitator right there and on top of our lid you always want to make sure these may tags are free this one's free so that's good and in terms of under direction too And the next part is we're going to get this ringer off. All you got to do is just lift it straight up. It comes right off. Really simple. All right, so we'll go ahead and just lift this one off here. And just grab it and just pull it straight up. And it comes right off. You can see it's separating. All right, so I went ahead and lifted our ringer off here. It just lifts straight off. They swivel 360 degrees all the way around, in case you didn't know that. But there's a little keyway in there that has to line up. So you want to make sure that's lined up properly. There is a plate right here. If this comes off, you just lift it straight up like that. And then it has a little hole right here, a little alignment hole. That lines up on this pivot right here. 
there's our other keyway in there so those two line up together so you just sit this back on here and line it up with the hole as well as right there and that's how that lined up anyway we'll go ahead and uh, start working on getting this tub off next and uh this right here is how you turn it on and off. This side is on, this side is off. So if you pull it like that, it would be on. That way it's off. That's how you engage and disengage the agitator. So next step here is we're gonna go ahead and unbolt. This is what they call the transmission. We're gonna take these two bolts out here and you have two more on these legs all the way around. That's a total of eight. We'll go ahead and get this tub off next. And there is two right here. So we'll get the tub off next.